Power Virtual Agents makes it incredibly easy for us to build chatbots, but it just got even easier with the new AI Boosted Conversations feature. I'll walk you through what it is and how it works right after this. So before I dive into this new AI boosted conversations feature, I want to take a step back and talk about how Power Virtual Agents works. When we look at building bots inside of Power Virtual Agents or PVA for short, we organize the bot based off of something called topics. So on this sample test bot here, if we go over to the topics tab, we have to think about and define the different types of things that a user might ask our bot and then plan out how you want to handle that. So every bot that you build in PVA comes with a standard greeting topic, for example, and this is used for kickstarting the conversation with the bot. So it considers all the ways that someone might greet your bot, like hello, good morning, whatever it might be. And then it does a simple conversation path here of replying with a message, saying hi, I'm a virtual chatbot here to help. How can I help you? So that's one example of a topic. And then you would build multiple topics based off of the different types of conversations and the trees and the different things that would happen with that conversation in your bot. So you might have one topic here for getting store locations. You might have a separate topic for retrieving the hours of your stores and all of that. Now this is relatively straightforward and easy, but it does require you to kind of know or guess what your user might be asking the bot to build out that conversation note. So it does require a lot of manual authoring and configuration. But what happens if your user asks a question that you don't have mapped out here as a topic in your bot? Traditionally, that would involve you handling this escalation topic. So you see we have a topic for escalate. And so if there's not an answer, we can ask to call support or talk with someone and that could actually transfer to a live person. But what if instead of doing this escalation, if you don't have a topic to find out, you could actually leverage the power of AI and GPT technology to be able to go and look at, say, your public facing website for your business and retrieve information based off of that. That's exactly what this AI boosted conversation functionality does for us now inside of Power Virtual Agents. We're able to point it to a web address and then it can use the AI functionality using Azure OpenAI service to be able to go and pull information from your site and respond to the user. So let's take a look at how this works. We'll create a new chatbot by going to the chatbots tab and selecting the new chatbot button. And this functionality right now is in preview. So if you want to try this out, you'll need to select this option here under create a chatbot for try the unified canvas. So again, it is in preview, so use it wisely. And then we'll click continue. Now we'll give our chatbot a name like company information bot. And then here is this new functionality in action. So you see we'll have this placeholder now to boost your conversation with GPT that is in preview, where we can paste in our website and then the GPT AI can go and get information from that website. So I might be building a bot here for my favorite local brewery, the Broken Arrow Brewing Company. So I might point it to our website here. So I'll copy this URL and we'll paste that right here inside of this text box for boost your conversation with GPT. Now we'll simply click create and that will go through the normal provisioning process for our bot here. Okay, so now our bot is ready and we can do some tweaks to this and publish it. So we see right here under the boost your conversations that it's letting us know we do have a site associated with this. So if at any time we decide we need to change the site that we want to use for this conversation AI boost functionality, we can simply click change site and then point that to a different site. Now the other thing when we click on that change site button that you'll notice in addition to being able to change the site, we can also define our bot content moderation level. So the default here is high. This means that while the bot generates fewer answers, the responses should be more relevant. But we have medium and low as options as well. So low would be if you're okay with potentially having some inaccuracies, but you want the bot to be able to generate the most answers. And then medium is just kind of a happy medium in between the two extremes there. I'm going to leave mine on high here in the default setting. And now we haven't really defined any topics right now. So if we go to the topics tab, we see all we have are the default topics that are included with our bot. So let's take a look at what would happen if we don't define any topics and just rely on this AI boosted conversation. So we do have a default topic for greeting. So I'll just start in our test panel here with a simple hello. And that will reply with the hello, how can I help you with that conversation node there? But now let's test some information here. So I know on our website, if we go to contact, 
that we do have hours listed. So I'm going to say something like, what are your store hours? Now this information isn't matching what we have on the site. It's giving us something different. And this is because one of these sample topics that we have here actually has a trigger for getting store hours. So let's toggle these off. And then I've cleared out the conversation on the test panel here so that we have a fresh instance. And now let's try this again now that we have those topics toggled off. So now I'll say, what are your store hours? Okay, so didn't quite understand. So I'll just put store hours instead. And there we have it. It took that information from the website there where it had the hours listed and using that AI based conversation booster that uses GPT technology there, it was able to return the result. And it even links us back to where that information is found on our website, which is really cool. So theoretically, if you're wanting to build a bot for something as simple as this, information that's stored on your website, like your hours and how to contact you, you can simply use this AI boosted conversations, point your bot to the website, and you really don't have to do much else. So let's just keep testing this. Let's see some other information we have here. We know that we have the hours. What about contact information? Let's see if it's able to extract that. So let's say, how do I contact you? Question mark. Okay, so this outcome might not be ideal. So again, something that you might want to define your own custom topic for to get that very specific result because it looked like it took us to a random page on our site that doesn't have anything to do with how to contact us. So again, something that you'll want to test and make sure that it's returning the results that you want. Another thing that's cool to note too is anytime that you're using this feature, it will say when you're interacting with the bot that this was surfaced with Azure OpenAI so that the user knows that the information is coming from a bot, which is really good responsible AI practices there. But let's keep going with this and see what else we can get this AI boosted conversations features to return for us. So another thing that we have listed on the website that we might want to get information for is our list of beers. So maybe I want to get a description of a specific type of beer like this golden tiger. Let's see if it's able to handle that. So I'm just going to clear out this conversation. So let's ask what is the golden tiger beer? And wow, pretty good. It was able to get all that information about that specific beer there, the alcohol volume, and all the information as well as a link back there. So you can imagine how much time this is saving me by being able to just point it to the website and have all of that information that's already there available to us instead of having to painstakingly create all these different topics. And let's try that uh, contact question again. So maybe if I knew something more specific, like what is your phone number? Maybe we'd have better results. Let's try that. And there you go. So if you get pretty specific and you know how to interact with the bot, you're going to get better answers and data returned to you. And it was able to accurately get that phone number there. So as you can see, the possibilities are really endless here with this new functionality. It's really going to reduce the amount of manual work that we have to do in building out our Power Virtual Agents bots. Now, this was just announced yesterday. So it's brand new, hot off the press, in preview again. So go over to Power Virtual Agents there, give it a try, test it out on your websites, and let me know the results. That's all that I have for you today. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, do me a big favor, support the channel by clicking that subscribe button and sharing with your friends. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Before you leave, check out some of these other videos I have on the Power Platform.